Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be restoring this hand miter saw. Now to be honest with you, this video will actually be pretty basic and boring. So instead I'm going to read a story written by my friend Bear Maked, and I'll have links to his down below as well as a link to this story if you want to check it out. So hopefully you'll enjoy the story and see how I restored the saw. He was sitting in a trash can with high street class. The opportunity of a lifetime passed before him as he tried to decide between a cone or a cup. Who knew going for ice cream could be so eventful? He never thought he'd be in such a situation again. How many times has anyone else ever gone out for dessert just to find themselves hiding in a trash can? Can others also form a top 10 list of garbage bins they've seen from the inside? This particular can may be number one on that list though, so that's something. It's called High Street for a reason. Was it named that after the High Society took over the area? Or were they drawn to it because of its name? That's a chicken and the egg paradox to ponder later. But it's definitely the cleanest area in town. And they don't neglect the trash cans in that cleanliness. Of course, there's still a faint odour. It's a garbage can after all. There's no sticky residue or other mystery goo stuck anywhere. So a faint odour is tolerable given the circumstances. Speaking of circumstances, though he's been in a bin before, at least the events leading up to this time were different. While standing in line, waiting patiently for the family ahead of him to pick their flavours, a thought occurred. I think I'll take cookie dough and peanut butter tonight. Wait, what? No, no, not that thought. Isn't it clear by now the thought I'm referring to is the impetus for this entire story? Why would that thought be the one that made you dive into the trash can? Well, I don't know. You're the one writing it. You know what, guy? Just calm down. Bear with me here. You had a thought after that. Remember? It was just as the boy in the blue shirt with the red shoes wanted to try a third flavour, as he couldn't decide. Stop interrupt- Oh, right. I thought with that shirt and the shoes and his hair was kind of spiked up, he was like if Sonic the Hedgehog was a person. What? No. I didn't even know you thought that. And you're wrong. He looked nothing like Sonic. Now just let me quickly interrupt the story here for a second. I wanted to talk about the music that I use in my videos. I use a website called The Matic, and if you use my link down below in the description, you'll get one month free of premium. Now, I'll say this isn't a sponsored video, but I do get a little kickback for anyone who decides to sign up. So with that, back to the story. Can I get on with this? I'm sure there are folks paying attention that are very curious as to how you went from standing in line at a posh ice cream parlor to hiding in a trash can. Sorry, I just thought, you know, if you're talking about my thoughts, maybe I should participate. Of the two of us, who would know better what's going on up here? Quit tapping your temple like that, that's loud, and also, I would know! It's called third person omniscient for a reason! Ha! Huh, I bet you can't even spell omniscient. I literally just did, twice. Oh, okay, Mr. Smart Guy. Also, it sounds like you're doing second person, not third person. Not so smart after all. No, wise guy, I'm using pronouns like he and his. These are third person pronouns. If I was going for second person, I'd say you and yours. Sort of rude to assume I'd prefer the male pronouns. It's 2020, man. You can't just assume pronouns based on what you perceive my gender to be. It wasn't an assumption. Again, omniscient. I know what you prefer. And that's a pretty terse comeback from you, who has yet to ask about my pronoun preferences, yet has referred to me as guy and man even though I have no physical being on which to base such an assumption. Well, to be fair, I don't often interact with omniscient beings. Most of my friends are guys, so I default to that vocabulary. I know this, I just wanted to point out your hypocrisy in bringing up the gender issue. Well, thanks. I guess I'll try to do better. Super. Let's get back on topic here. People want to know why you're in the trash can. I don't think they do. In fact, I bet you don't even know. All these claims of omniscience, Yet you let me, a guy, who has found himself in a trash can, more than 15 times derail your story. How dare you? I will not stand for such an accusation. Wait, more than 15 times? I only knew about like 10. What is going on with you? Never mind. I don't need to prove my omniscience to you. I'm going to go narrate someone else's life. Bye, Felicia. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully you enjoyed Justin's story. As I said, I'll have links down below to Justin's uh, socials and a link to the story if you want to check it out. Now, also, you can follow me on social media. I'll have links to that. I'll have links to those down below. 
And also, I have a podcast with the Grant Alexander and Molly Kurt. And I think you should check that out too, because I think you would really like it. And I'll see you next time.